And joining us now, a Pac-12 first teamer, a captain. Therese Cannon is with us right now. Therese, appreciate you giving us a couple minutes here. I know this is an exciting time for you and your teammates knocking on the door, potentially a national championship on the line. And we just went through some of the scenarios here and what it's going to take. UCLA waiting in the wings. But I, there's a lot of good to talk about. Can we? I hope you don't mind. We're going to touch on a little bit of bad. But you guys were resilient, so it's not all bad. But take me back <laughs> to Friday's loss. Denson, you guys lose to your, your one seed. How do you explain what happened? Um, it's hard to explain. I mean, hats off to Stetson. They did an amazing job. They came out strong, ready to play. And I think we just came out a little bit flat and weren't really expecting that, I guess. Um, and they, they were awesome. They played out of their mind. So we were a little surprised <laughs> um, when we lost that one. But we knew that as soon as we lost, we had to turn it around and far away back up. <laughs> what are the emotions surrounding a loss like that when, you know, this is the NCAAs? It's really tough because we w would have loved to win that game, but then as soon as you lose, you have to kind of like let it sink in that you lost and then change your mindset right away because you, we had another match to play that afternoon. What's the mental makeup? How do you describe it, you and your teammates, to be able to be as resilient as you are in, in critical situations? Because it is double elimination, but after you lose the first one, I mean, you guys basically, well, not basically, you can't lose the rest of the way, and you haven't so far. Yeah. Yeah, we talked about it as a team and we were kind of just like, we have to get it together, you know, it's do or die now, it's all up to us and it's going to be tough, but we knew that we could do it. I think um, uh, Coach Collier, she was talking to us and she said, get your heads up, you can't pout about this, you have to go back out there and win all the rest of the matches. Just curious, because I know it's LSU wing in the wings, UCLA potentially um, for a national championship. You guys have some history with them. You, in fact, were part of the uh, the clincher, so to speak, in the Pac-12 championship as you guys were able to to win another conference title. Do you look ahead to UCLA, or is the complete focus right now on LSU? Complete focus right now is on LSU. We, I think that's something good that we've been doing uh, ever since we got put in the contenders bracket is we've just been taking it one match at a time. and. We can't look too far ahead because I think that's my might have been part of what happened on Friday. Um, so we are totally focused on LSU and want to win that match first and foremost. It's safe to say, Therese, that maybe the loss is a reason why you've been able to advance to this point? Yeah, no, I think it has definitely fired us up and we're ready to go. How about for you and your journey? Because I know, look, the clock is ticking right now, and I, maybe it's probably sad. I remember my days when I was in college. I never wanted to leave. I still cry myself to sleep, uh, depending on the certain night that I'm not back on campus. But for you, your, your volleyball journey started at Georgetown in the Big East. Now, all of a sudden, you find yourself last couple seasons in Southern California. USC is the uniform that you're wearing. How are you going to remember your time in Southern California? I have, I'm so grateful for my time in Southern California. I'm so proud to wear the USC jersey every day. Um, it's been incredible. I've met some really awesome people and the relationships that I have, I will probably, they will last forever. And I'm just so grateful for everything that I've done there. Oh, there's no doubt those relationships, they, they do last forever with your college friends and yeah. certainly for you and your teammates as well. Therese, look, I, I know you got to buckle down. You probably got some work to do and, and focus in on LSU. Best of luck the rest of the way in pursuit of winning another uh -huh. national championship. Thank you.